Hey, what's up, studs? Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and today I have another Lego haul. Uh, so, the day after Christmas, I went to the Lego store, bought a bunch of Lego Movie 2 sets, and I posted on my Instagram story that I wouldn't buy any more Lego sets for the rest of the year. Then, on December 27th, I went to Target and Walmart, and there was that, you know, typical after Christmas Lego clearance that I can't get enough of every year. So, I wasn't gonna go, and then I went, and I spent a bunch of money. So, uh, not as much as some of my previous hauls, but I did get some really good deals. Stuff, you just I just couldn't pass on a lot of this stuff. So, there were a ton more Lego deals out there to be had, but I did just pick up a couple, so... I would recommend checking your local Target and Walmart if you want to find out what they have in clearance at your stores. But we'll start out with Walmart, I suppose. Oh yeah, also that white bit, that white uh, bubble mailer there is from China, so you'll see what's in there at the end probably. I bought uh, for five dollars each. I, I had to build an army, right? Stormtrooper brickheads. I got seven stormtroopers and one Darth Vader. Again, five dollars each. I just it, it harkens back to the days of buying battle packs the day after Christmas for five dollars. Maybe that's why I did it. But they were five bucks each, and I couldn't pass on them. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I had a Walmart gift card too, so that that helps. But that is that is my stormtrooper army there. That looks actually pretty cool. I like that. Oh, I should put that up as my background. I don't know, dude. Uh, my Target then had about three hundred of these. Uh, cars for seven dollars and fifty cents each uh if you guys want to see my vlog this week you'll be able to see all of that because i do show all the clearance and stuff so check out mnr vlogs um yeah my friend blaine bought a bunch of these we'll just leave it at that you can see it if you check out the vlog he spent uh, about sixteen hundred dollars at my local target just so you know uh and then the other thing i got at that target in the morning was this uh this was twelve dollars twelve bucks so I bought it. It was uh, Iron Man Detroit Steel Strikes. Don't know what it is or what it's from, but for $12, 377 pieces, you don't not buy it. You know what I'm saying? You know? So that's the Lego deals there. And then I went to another Target. We're back at the same Target that I bought those. Actually, just just later in the day when I went with Blaine. I found this uh, Power Function set for $21. So I figured I may as well just get it. And if I ever need them, I can open it up and use them. I think that would be cool to have in the future. Maybe for a mock if I was ever building something. I know I'd probably never build a mock, right? But if I ever need Power Functions, I have some, which is nice to know, right? I don't have to go out of my way to find them. So I was at another Target, and uh, this was $45. And there was no passing on that for me, uh, 45 bucks for over a thousand pieces. So pretty good deal for the hovercraft. And I don't know when I'll build that one. I think I'll build this one in like a year or something, but it's just something nice to have. It's another one of those, like I'll get it and I'll, I'll do something with it when I have the time to do something with it. So that's that. The final set that falls under that category here today is going to be the bat shuttle. Um, a pretty nice clearance pickup for $56. Um, this is one that I've had my eye on for a while. I like the space shuttle. Obviously, I live in Florida near uh, Cape Canaveral where they launch the space shuttle. So the bat shuttle has a nice sleek look to it. So I figured I'd pick it up. Got some cool minifigs too. I like the costumes. Like Reggae Man is awesome. So that's cool. Get around back. Get an idea what the set's all about here. So the bat shuttle couldn't pass it up for fifty six dollars. Like I, I, I've been had I've had my eye on that one and it's probably about to retire. So like. If I, if I didn't pick it up now, I probably would have never got it. That would have been pretty sad. But we do still have one more package here. And that is from China. And bring it up closer here so you guys can get a better look at on boxes. I think I know what set it is. Um, however, it's a little bit heavier than I was expecting. I didn't think this package was going to be this heavy. So we'll find out here in a second exactly what set it is. But I, I suppose, I, I think it's supposed to be Snoke's throne room. I don't know what else. I know I made a couple China orders about a month ago. And this, I guess this took about, I guess it was a few weeks ago. But I made a couple orders from China. And this is one of them. So as soon as we get it open here, I'll show you. Oh, okay. So this is not Snoke's throne room. That's why it was heavier. Um, I remember this now. I bought the Lepin version of the Harry Potter train. So, oh, we have a note inside. Oh, it's the stickers. Okay, okay. I was like, what the hell? What is that? But, uh, yeah, that is the Leppin version of the Harry Potter train. Get some of the pieces out. Let's show you guys that it is Leppin. It ain't Lego. That's for sure. Probably looking at that green piece there. Definitely not Lego. So, yeah, I will be building this up. I'll be doing a full-fledged comparison, Lego versus Leppin. I'm going to start trying to do those videos more often. I'm going to try to buy more of these sets, so let me know if I should... 
or let me know rather which Lepin uh, sets I should buy because there are a bunch of different ones that I could get. So let me know in the comments section below. But that is my Lego addiction haul. Uh, if you guys also have a Lego addiction, please join my uh, Lego users addiction group. And we will, um, we're going to tell stories about how many times we buy Lego when we shouldn't. So it's another one of those times. But I'll probably go out and look for more clearance, honestly, in the next couple days. Because clearance is a good thing, all right? So <laughs> I don't know, man. I have a Lego buying problem, apparently. And we're going to try to fix that in 2019, all right? I promise. Okay, I promise many times. But we'll see what happens. This is what I bought. It, it, it's not too much. Very much looking forward to checking out that magic. What? What? Magic what? You sold, you slurred, I don't know, man. Anyway, keep your eye out on the channel for our videos on a bunch of this stuff. Probably coming out in like, like it's going to be a while before I get to this. I got a bunch of 2019 stuff to do first. Let me know if you guys find any good clearance deals in your, your local targets and Walmarts. Hit me with a comment down below. Tell me what you found. But uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Check out the vlog channel if you want to see 300 of those on a shelf. That was insane. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.